Hey, what's up? This is May's book two, chapter nine, part three. Hope you like it. In the night, the fields of corn formed a rippling pool of maize with a steady breeze teasing the tips of the reeds into a responsive wave. And screams also rippled on the backs of the fields from an outlying part of the town. These screams, it turned out, were not of the victims, but of the mothers and sisters and sons coming upon the lifeless bodies of men who had broken bread with them at sunup, and now lay face down in the dirt or pale on their backs, without any wounds or clear signs one would expect to find on the dead. Not one of these men would not have gone down without a fight to protect the town and their beloved families. But it wasn't a case of border wars or wild animals or anything in human understanding. As she made her way along the edge of the fields, deep enough to hide in the high-flying chaff and stalk of the crops, Kel knew without knowing that she was somehow responsible, but how and why she was desperate to discover. Where had they made off to her uncle's? Would there be more bloodshed tonight? What was the reason for this atrocity? She was shaking, but not with fear. She would slap the living hell out of them when she found them, on behalf of the ones left behind in the terrible scene of collective grief she witnessed. What had these poor people done to be terrorized like this? Instead of going home, she headed deeper out into the fields and then circled back to the town proper, brushed herself off and caught her breath, stood up tall and walked in on the scene of terrible grieving as though she was oblivious. She would not have to betray the growing sadness and anger in her heart at all, for it was late at night and the streets were full of wailing women as news had arrived from the outlying area. In her heart, she felt desolate and dark too, but also guilty. Why was she feel, feeling guilty? She walked around in a daze, searching to the whispers of the voices in her head for the men whose scents had left them.